Hi and welcome to the Brazen Lounge Academy. My name's Laura Lynn. Um, we're going to be demonstrating some techniques on different hairstyles today on Afro hair and European hair. Now I'm going to do you an example of a fringe French plait. Okay. Okay, we take our normal free strands. Now what you want to try and do is keep this braid very, very loose. That way you can dictate the contour and the shape of the braid. You don't want it too tight against the scalp. And what I'm trying to do here is make this braid slightly slanted. And by doing that, I'm actually choosing at which point I do the next plait. And as you can see, every strand I take, I'm plaiting slightly further down than what I did before. This is to give us the illusion of a braided fringe to the side of the head. Not one stuck directly onto the scalp. But just to add a little bit of um, a different touch, a different option to dress in your fringe. And you continue with your free strand cornrow braid until you get to the stage where you've decided that that's enough of your fringe you want to take in for this style. Bear in mind, European hair is very, very slippery, so you need to be able to hold it securely without pulling it too much because you don't want to cause discomfort. But you want to continue with the folding technique. It's not about braiding as tightly as you can, but you want to fold in the hair. And just continue around to the side here. And then it will turn into your single strand sorry, your free strand braid, single plait, and you continue that all the way down as far as you want it to go. And because it's European hair, we would normally have to secure this with an elastic band. All elastic bands that are used should always be cut from the hair, not pulled from the hair. Continue to braid. And then we add the elastic band. And you're finished. Okay, so that's the example of the French braid in the fringe area. As you can see, it's graduating along the fringe, so it starts off at the higher point, graduates down to the lower point. I've actually ended down by the temple area and finish it off with a normal braid at the end, okay? And that's how you do a braided fringe.